Uh, the cops just pulled us over right outside of our house. As soon as we pulled up to the house, we got our car. So they getting out. I'm coming. Oh man! How you doing today? How may I help you, officer? You may help me by giving me your license, registration, and insurance. Before we, please. before we get there. I need you to give me your badge number. I'm, I'm recording for my okay, protection. Where, fine. where's your body camera? At? I don't have a body camera. Okay. So. I need your my badge number. Your name and I need your bond claim number. Uh -huh. okay. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. License, registration, insurance. I need. I will identify myself. Okay. I need you to identify yourself first. I'm Officer King. Cop didn't even get a chance to say much to him. Already, he's already going into it. Head first into the whole spiel. Bond claim number, please. License, registration, insurance, please. Bond claim number. All right, sir. Excuse me. Can you give him your license, registration, and insurance? Right, we have listen. our child in the car. I'm not doing it. Okay. <laughs> Don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. And we're right outside of our home. We okay. live right there. License, registration, insurance. Don't do it with my kid in the car. I'm not doing this. You can help stand up for yourself another time. I'm not getting killed with my kid in the car. Out of nowhere comes the voice of reason. But oh no, he's not quite smart enough to listen to it. That, I'm going to say something. That's something a, whole, a lot of us fellas could, could learn from. And no one wants to hear it. But if we listen to them a little bit more often, it'd save us some aggravation. You ain't cute. Yeah, right. You stupid. Give up the ID, the registration, whatever. I actually don't have to identify myself. Well, you do, or you can you go to jail. Cops got to be thinking right about now. You know, if, if, if I just let her talk, maybe, maybe this thing will work itself out. I'm not doing this. Why are you pulling me over? You have your center brake light out, sir. What's the center brake light? The center brake light is that brake light right in there. And if you left something in the house, they can escort me in there so I can get it. No. If, if there's going to be any more problems, I'm going to request... He, um, he's series. letting you know okay. that you, you, your light's out, so say thank you. Boom. Roast it. I'm not doing this with my kid in the car. Identify yourself and he gave you his badge number and all you can do. Me his bond claim number too. Bond? He probably don't even know what a bomb claim number he is. Know what a no! <laughs> what a bond, they, they're binded. They're, all them cops are bonded. Okay, but, okay, check your attitude. Because soon as you, they pulled you over, did you straight had an attitude from John. That was legitness. Cause you, 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 you send a brake light out. They ain't even talk to you all crazy. You start talking to them all crazy. You know, not always, but a lot of the time. It's people who don't want to comply or go along or don't look at the cops as having authority or something that escalates it. If you get crazy with them, you should know that they're they're going to get crazy with you. Like you could do that when you get pulled over by yourself, not with my kid in the car. Boom. Roast it. Say here, watch them killing a man over driver's license, registration, insurance. Because you want, I'm traveling. What am I doing? And like I said, yes, she is the voice of reason. But she's also got her head in a little bit of nonsense also. God bless her, but let's call it for what it is. For those of you who would say, what are you talking about? Cops didn't kill nobody because he didn't have driver's license and proof of insurance. 
That's that's a fantasy. I no doubt somebody got pulled over for that. But that's not why something horrible happened. I've got no problem calling out bad police officers. Done it plenty of times. Won't hesitate to do it again. But I also ain't got no problem calling out good police officers. We're always going to need somebody. When you hit 911, you're going to want to know somebody's coming. So enough with this everybody or all police officers nonsense. I, I'm not hearing it. She's trying to get shot up right outside the house. That that's what I'm talking about. The argument with these people all day they, they don't even know the law that well. All they know is point and shoot. Delusion. If you don't comply. I mean, what? What? Come on, man! If you don't comply, no, you. We should all just be able to live in a lawless society and do whatever we want to. Of course, we have to comply. These are the rules and the things. If you don't comply, you. Do None of us got a choice but to comply. I can't even believe you're gonna try that with your baby in a car. Twenty minutes later. Excuse me, officer. Yes. My daughter has a G2 and a heart problem. I have to get her back on to her heart monitor. You know how long it's going to Because we live right there in the house. I am sympathetic. My daughter had a G tube also. Also was on heart uh, and and blood ox and and all the sensors. I understand. I I I I sympathize completely. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't have the wrong attitude about some things. Some things I I I agree with her a thousand percent. But we need to shake this whole everybody thing. All officers are not bad, but all of us do have to comply. Or bad things do happen to anybody. Complying is not a choice. It's the law. Sir, I have some bad news for you. Your vehicle registration expired May 31st. Boom. Roast it. Okay. According to the laws of Philadelphia, I have to live stop your vehicle. Which means it's going to be towed by the Philadelphia Parking Authority. Man, wasn't it a good idea to throw out your driver's license, and your registration, and buy that packet? Money well spent, huh? You have registration? I need those keys, please, sir. Yo, I need, I need the supervisor. Okay, that's fine. I'm still gonna need those keys. I need to boom. Roast it. Alright. Because I'm traveling with my personal Okay. I don't have that in my car registered. Okay, but you did at one point though, right? Before I knew the law. Oh, uh, okay. When did you know the laws? I'm starting to study man. Oh, okay. So you want a supervisor? I'm gonna need those keys. Once you once you give me the keys, I'll call for the supervisor. I'll need your supervisor, man. Alright, sir. It's not going to end well. I'm going to let you know that right now. You can't take my car. I can take your car. I Sir, our car is not car. registered to the state. It is registered to the state. I'm going to un- Yo, man, you Sir? can't take my car, man. Sir? Look at my sovereign citizen husband. Uh, a moor. Would he want to be a moor citizen? He have a right to travel? He ain't got to re-register re his car? And it only costs $70? No! here making this you talking about you cannot register your car here come the tow truck the imp talking about you ain't got to register your car you have a right to travel and all of this crazy and you ain't got to pay bills or do nothing like that look they can pay thanks a lot honey we can't make it to our daughter's doctor's appointments you can't go to work you can't do 
because you trying to be a more citizen. And look, the cops is impound. So first the car, next thing it'll be the house and your credit score drop. Thanks a lot, more citizens. Up my life. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. Almighty, he which testify these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Thank you.